this? Well, I mean, I think it starts at 35, but then you like if once you start adding features, like she specced one out and it still ended up being like 50. Oh, wow. Cause she's like, oh, I get four wheel drive and auto assist. And it's like, yeah. you don't have four wheel drive now. Like, why do you need to think you need four wheel drive all of a sudden? Yeah. Not. You mean the, that person? Yeah. <laughs> Does she only want an electric car? Yeah, I mean, at this point. Because like... I mean, we've already paid to have the charger installed, so... The thing about hybrids is like the maintenance for them it tends to be the worst out of any of the three options like if you go electric or go hybrid or go gas because basically you have maintenance on two engines right. so like and, uh, i mean i i driven hybrid before and it seems like it's mostly using gasoline yeah and it's just accumulates like this little like charge yeah and then you can use it for like that's what it seems like. Yeah, I mean, Just that's... Like show the people, like, hey, actually, right now we're going on electric. It also depends on, like, your driving... St like, if you're going in the city, then you'll probably get more electric miles on the hybrid. Where do you think that car went? Oh, they turned off way back there. The truck? Yeah. Uh, we can go through here. Uh. Mississippi River Trail sign over here. So this does go. This does go to Egan. Yep. Do you want to just go back that way, or? Oh uh, right. That's where the Mississippi River Trail sign was. see what it what it says our mileage is to home also the goal is to get like by like six six for six six well so this says it'll take an hour and 20 minutes which will get us there before six to Egan. and it's 14 miles away to Egan. This goes through Egan, but I'm saying to home, oh, okay. to my house, to my condo. It'll get us there before six. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's nice. yeah I'm okay. Yeah, it's fine with me. And it's it's 14 miles, so some of that'll be uphill, which will probably hit the hurt the battery, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've literally never been on this trip. Yeah, neither have I. So. I mean this part either. So like uh, this is actually like the route that Google would have me take if I was if I used them to go to uh, down to New Orleans. Um, I don't know what happens. I don't think I would actually use this because I think I can take some shortcuts through the cities where I like, you know, I'm kind of comfortable with the roads and stuff. But um, yeah. It's on the hot side. We'll see if we can keep the pace Google thinks we should keep. <laughs> but we can always take the light rail if need be.
my suspicion is is that I would have where we turned uh, right to get on this I would have turned right to like keep going oh, okay. uh, but that's just a guess If you notice the range like dips, I can take the bags. Yeah, it's not a, it's 46 miles right yeah. now. So, it's... so I have to dip a lot because it's only 14 to home. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, it should be. But we'll see, we're climbing a hill right now, so. <laughs> Kevin say he liked uh, trails way over at Cali more than this ones, or this ones are better? Uh, yeah, I think he liked the... I, well, what he liked about California, I think, is like... Um, oh, yeah, around. Yeah. Which, I mean, I, told, I talked to him, I was like, you just need studded tires. Yeah. So I think he's gonna do it, because he's like, all right, I'm living in Minnesota, I should, right. I should do it. <laughs> Like, apparently he didn't even know studded tires were a thing. Stud what? Studded tires. What's that? You got know, like spikes in your tires for the ice. Really? Wow, I haven't... Right, but you're not like a serious cyclist. <laughs> yeah, I am. So, you know, like, it's like, dude, like, you really haven't like talked to anybody about like cycling in the winter? Even like as a curiosity, like, Me? how do you do it? No, Kevin, oh, like, yeah, yeah. like, he's just like, oh, it's cold. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> you just assume whatever is easier. But the thing, I, get, I don't know, like, I figure like he would talk to people on these, like, you know, he goes on like yeah. 200 Ks and stuff. Like, yeah. you didn't talk to anybody during any of those? I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of weird. But, but maybe he'll uh, he'll give it a shot. Oh, because he was talking about getting this like indoor cycling thing that has like, you know, like it's like a 3D world that you like. It's not you don't wear like VR goggles, but it like prints it out in front of you know it's like a it's like a video game and you're cycling. He was like talking about doing that for the winter. He's like, yeah, it seems more exciting than just like doing a Peloton. And I was like, Kevin, you know what's exciting? Actually going out on a bike. <laughs> None of those like machines like they cannot replace being outside. Yeah. Well, and the other thing is, is that like I was talking about, do you wear goggles? He's like, oh, I don't know how I feel about wearing goggles yeah. on the bike. And I'm like, dude, I do that for like four months out of the year, easy. I wear goggles. <laughs> it's like it's not that big of a deal. That's how we got talking about cycling in the winter. I was like, yeah, you know, at first, you know, you got a little bit of like visibility that you, but you know, you get used to it. You get used to turning your head. I don't know if I'd want to do a 200K in the winter, but um, you know, so we'll see. We'll see. I thought that guy didn't have a shirt on at first. I was like, this guy knows how to party. I don't think we would even get to the bridge yet. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm recording, by the way. Yeah. He is slow, though. I'm. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, I'll tell him to his face. <laughs> yeah, we're working on it though. I'm not giving up on him yet. I think July 20th may be the day I give up on him, but, <laughs> but all right, he's signed up. We'll see how it goes. You should like record the whole thing. I don't have a big enough uh, GoPro thing. I mean, a, a car. We wanted to buy a memory card at some point. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting. I was hoping to wait till Christmas. That way, like, somebody can just buy it for me. Well, you know, they like to have stuff to buy rather than just like giving me a gift card stuff, so. Hey, uh... Uh, I guess because I have to pull out a bunch of stuff, and I have Raspberry Pi. I don't know if you want to keep it. Uh, you know what? I uh, I appreciate that, but I bet there's somebody at Nagios that would like actually have the time to do something with it, <laughs> whereas like I just don't. <laughs> yeah, sure. Not right now, anyway. Right. And you know. If I do start um, doing more of the, like these long cycling rides, I mean, that just takes up a lot of time. So, uh, But yeah, I like Kevin and there's this new guy, Phil, and everybody has like family stuff. It's hard to like plan bike rides, so. But I like I like going out by myself if I have music, so. Um, I kind of get scared. Some, like some trails, okay. I don't know. Well, I mean, you mean like mountain bike trails or what? Like, would you go here by yourself? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to do the ride in New Orleans by myself. Probably. I mean, I might have people that come with me for a part of it. But Wendy's not going to do it, so. Brent's not going to do it. He's talked about doing some like longer, like actual trail rides, but it's like, it's so slow. Yeah. You'll like disappear somewhere in the Orleans. That'll be like the last day of anyone ever doing it. <laughs> oh. oh dude, I think we're like already in the Egan. Or it's not Egan, it's Mendota. It's what? It's Mendota actually. Um. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I think we're about to get on the part of the trail that I've been on. Right up here, I think. Well, I can't say with 100% certainty, but I am fairly certain that over here is like there's a big hill and I rode down that hill to try to find this trail and then I came back on this. I think that's the case. We'll find out soon enough. It's hard to see, but it says I can tell it says an hour and seven. To get home? Yeah, so I still like, Oh last like my legs are kinda of tired. I'll see how I should be fine, but well, it's not uphill the whole way back. Yeah. 
I'm gonna have that big downhill at Fort Snelling. Well, I mean, we can always change the bags. We'll be slower, but. What do you think if it's like echo 42 miles? If I switch it to normal, like. Would It'll it... tell you what the new range is when you switch it. What does it say? 38 miles right now. Yeah, so I mean. We have only eight left, right? So that should be fine. No, 12. 12 I was saying it's an hour and six minutes. But yeah, it's 12 miles. That's nice, yeah, in the shade. I hate these turn right, then turn left. What am, what, is it, what am I doing? I'm not turning right, I'm turning left. There's no turning right here. to the right, Minneapolis straight ahead.